greetings to you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for stopping by just to watch my content. I don't take you for granted. So guys, first things first. Just know that uh, I love you and really appreciate you. Your likes and comments are not taken for granted. It's because of you that this channel is where it is. So my people, there's a lot of information that is ongoing in the white streets. I don't know what you've heard, but apparently... Getriba has been arrested. So if you don't know the story around Getriba, remember he's among the people that have been severally mentioned in the white streets as an abuser of the miners in Nyabohanse. And uh, of course I must um, add my voice to this conversation. That is the right way to go. I have made it clear that anything to do with the miners, then I can't like... <clears throat> just keep quiet and let it pass. Let the alleged uh, pregnancies and babies and all that, let a DNA be con uh, done. And if he's the father, then he needs to step up. That is it. He needs to step up. So away from that, let's go to Jamaica. Who doesn't love Jamaica? Jamaicans in the house, work one. Naf love, receive naf love from me. You are among my many, many subscribers. Thank you so much. I love you. Uh, my people. So guys, we all know that our girl Dimwango is in Jamaica. She went back to Jamaica and we saw her doing a lot of content around Portland and eventually she went back to her favorite place in Jamaica. That is a uh, trench town in Kingston, right? Yeah, so please, when she arrived, we all saw, she, who did she meet? Kino. And we all know that Kino and Dimwango have... Uh, previously done a lot of content together and they have a chemistry yeah that is my opinion you drop your own i don't know what you think about this but this is what i feel and this is my own opinion you can drop yours and let's have a conversation so they've had a chemistry and most of the time uh, uh people have always wanted to see them together you know uh, there was a time where we had a lot of speculations that these people could be, you know, dating and all that. But Dimwango came out and said, uh, like, nothing like that was taking place. And when Dimwango went back to Jamaica, most people were asking her where Kino is. And specifically, there was so much on Kino when she did her live stream. <clears throat> and Dimwango made it very clear that uh, everyone is uh, focusing, you know, on their own lives and this one i agree like everyone is busy doing their own stuff you know and the type of content that they create is different like for dimango she always travels and shows us uh, different places and all that but when it comes to kino most of his content is uh leaned towards charity that is what kino does and because of that dimango say that uh sometimes like um they can't always be together that is one thing that she was, uh, she came out strongly. Like she can't be together with Kino every time. And not just Kino, but these other content creators that she's very close to. And she made it clear. And I hope uh, most people came to an agreement with her. Though still, people kept on insisting during the live stream. And among the many, many questions, people are asking, when is she going to do video with Kino? And I've been telling you, and especially if you've been watching my videos, I've been telling you that there is no way, there is no way Dimwango, like, does not communicate with Kino. Whether she's in Jamaica, whether she's in Kenya or wherever, the part of the world she is in, she's always in touch with Kino. Because these are friends, these are people that met in Jamaica, they did a lot of content, Kino helped uh, Dimwango to get around Jamaica and all that. So there's no way, there's no way they can't be talking. And I hope you heard for yourself. You remember that time when Dimwango went to visit uh, the place where uh, uh, the place where Bob Marley was born? Do you remember? Do you remember? Have you watched that video? Yeah. So if you have, there's a time while she was doing her content, Kino called and they were talking. If you, uh, maybe you feel like, Maybe this is just a story to make content. Just go and watch. There's a place during the shooting of the video where Kino called and Dimango picked and she was like, Kino. And then they talked. That tell, What does that tell you? <clears throat> it tells you that these people are always in touch. So when uh, Dimango went to Trench Town, she met Kino and she was with Shane. And you know, of course, the naysayers cannot let her breathe in and breathe out. I don't know why they, they are always uh, that negative. 
So guys, I was watching one of these naysayers and she was talking about the reason why Kino and Dimwango like met. And according to her, she says that it's because of views. Like, uh, you know, Dimwango has her own channel. Kino has his own channel. And anytime they do content, both channels are going to benefit, which, uh, which of course is a plus that is what i can say it is a plus and there's no way you can expect two content creators to meet and they do not create content we have seen the same same naysayers doing content together and their channels growing so they are uh, like i don't feel <clears throat> this is something that should be of concern to them at the end of the day whether you like it or not dimwango and kino are going to do a lot of content together as long as Dimwango is in Jamaica and always uh, Kino's doors are open and most Jamaicans love Dimwango as I have always said like 99.9% .9 of Jamaicans really love Dimwango and they're in support of what she does I don't know why the naysayers are bringing out this issue to do with this guy that is calling out on Jamaicans to see how fake Dimwango is. And if you take your time and go and watch most of Dimwango's video, the Jamaicans are always rallying for her. There's an issue that came up when Dimwango and Kino met. Uh, there's this 60 pound that Dimwango said she was bringing, you know, for Kino. And then someone was like, can Dimwango travel all the way just to bring 60 pound? Let me tell you, and of course you've always said that you are a traveler, like you've uh, traveled all over the world. Someone can send you, like if, let's say you are coming from Kenya, you are traveling abroad. Someone can send you with money or any other stuff for you to take to their relatives or friends abroad. It's common. So I don't get uh, the sense where Carrot has to insist that was it necessary for Dimango to bring the 60 pound or did she just want to meet Kino? So guys, let's move on <coughs> ahead. Uh-huh. We all know that in that video, Dimango said that she may not be in Trench Town for a long time. And what do you expect? She's a travel content creator. It is just a matter of using your common sense. Because she's a travel content creator, she needs to travel. She needs to explore uh, the world. She needs to go to countries that she has never been to. Because how will we see her as a travel content creator or rather associate her with a traveler if she stays in one place for a very long time. I don't know why they're speculating that uh, after the incident with Jump to us, Dimango became broke and the only place where she can get her money very fast is Jamaica and that is why she is there. In fact, I don't know where they get these crazy ideas. Uh, like Dimango has to be in Jamaica for her channel to grow. By the way, she doesn't have to be in a specific location. She has a massive followers and people will always follow her and people will always watch her content. So I don't know where this tingo is coming from because Dimwango has always said she's in love with Jamaica and most of the time she will be traveling, you know, going around and still go back to Jamaica. And, you know, um, I feel the naysayers have the intention of uh, just... Uh, putting the Jamaicans against or placing the Jamaicans against Dimwango so that they can attack her. You know, that is their intention because why would they keep on pushing this? At the end of the day, this lady has done so much for herself and her people and also people that she has met along the way. So I don't know why they would feel whatever she's doing is not correct. So I can't wait to see her next destination because... Um, I think previously she said she'll be moving around. And I don't know whether you remember, there's a time when she did her, when she was doing a live stream before she went to America, she, wo uh, she made a list of the countries that she has visited in the Caribbean. And, you know, at the end of it, she came to realize that she had not visited most countries. And she said when she goes back, that is that will be one of her mission and i know she's going to explore other caribbean countries and of course uh we can't wait to see her doing her tingo so guys let's move on to 
the second segment. In this second segment, there are, we have seen the naysayers coming out to attack each other. I saw Parrot coming out furiously to attack Minhawi. Of course, Minhawi is a naysayer. It is only that he does not want to admit. And it is also because the naysayers are not ready to embrace her. By the way, if you don't know, I hope you get this very clearly. The naysayers are not ready to embrace her. And the reason is because Minhawi uh, really abused them. The You know, those days when she used to defend Maro, her abuses were out of this world. She really put them like I dragged them down and she didn't do it in a diplomatic way but rather she was very very abusive verbally and all that and that is why they are rejecting her and because she knows they can't welcome her she has to pretend that she is in between but we all know if you've been watching them for a long time you know these people cannot acknowledge me in her we no matter what they can't and we are in during the interview there's this issue that came out about Carrot, who was trying to help this uh, this lady called Mama Sami, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, Mama Sami. And then Minhawi came in and sabotaged the process because of, you know, defending Mayugno and all that. According to Carrot, she had found a, a friend who is a Kenyan who stays in Italy, who donated some good money, and their intention was to help this lady to settle and select a project or a business that she would engage in and from that she would be able to educate her children you know just to afford to pay her bills and all that but Minhawi went there interviewed this lady came and told Mayugno about the plans that the lady had and the whole process came to an end why am I mentioning Mayugno I'm mentioning Mayugno because if you go back, there's a time where Mayugno brought this boy to his channel and he said that was his son. In fact, Mayugno was uh, posing as a single father that the wife left him with two kids and he has to take care of them. And from that, according to Carrot, the intention was for Mayugno to stop using that child for donation when he was not actually helping the mother. But because of Minhawi, he was not able, uh, like they were not able to help this lady. And when you look at it, you're going to realize that maybe they were, uh, maybe her and her donators were genuine and had good intention of rescuing this lady. Because according to the lady, the husband ran away and left her with the kids and literally left her with nothing. And... Mayugno was using her children to lie to donators and they would send money and Mayugno would give her maybe a small amount of money and her children could not go to school, she couldn't afford meals, you know, clothing, medication and all that. It was like so hard for her. So my people, I'm going to attach a few clips here. So I don't know what you think about this today's video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. You can also join my membership and become part of my family. Just check on the packs that are pocket friendly and pick whatever suits you. Thank you so much and goodbye for now.